This is the easiest raid farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.20. Alright, the first thing you need to do is find yourself a pillager outpost like I have here and go ahead and build this farm about a hundred or so blocks away. Not too far, but close enough that you can run over there and get the bad omen effect and then come back to the farm. After deciding where you want to build the farm, go ahead and build up 80 blocks using scaffolding. And at the top of the tower, we're going to go ahead and build a little bit of a 4x4 square here out of leaves. So just surround your scaffolding with leaves here. And then we're going to build over two blocks on this side. Place down a block right here and a block right here. Then grab your chests and place down two double chests in the crack just like so. All right, grab your hoppers now and place down two hoppers on both of these chests, running into one another so that they all end up inside of the chests. Then we're going to grab our blocks and place down a block right here and a block right here. We're then going to go ahead and create a U shape of blocks around the hoppers to keep everything from the raid contained. We're going to grab our stairs now and place two upside down stairs over top of those chests. That way we can still open them. We're then going to build another U shape just like we did a minute ago, just like this. And we're going to grab our slabs and place two upside down slabs over top of the stairs. That way we have access to everything and we can kill them. We're going to grab our blocks now and we're going to build this chamber all the way up 17 more blocks. So that is the 17th layer. This would be the 16th layer, so on and so forth and we're gonna build 17 more blocks up. And when it's all said and done, this is what it should look like. And if you wanna know what's the correct height, come down inside the tube and count from the bottom layer all the way up should be 19 blocks, where this would be the 19th block. After you know it's the correct height, we're gonna build out six blocks right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six blocks right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and connect up these lines now to create a 10 by 10 platform. We're going to go ahead and fill this entire thing in with blocks, just like so. And when it's all said and done, you should have a 10 by 10 platform like I do here. We're going to go ahead and add some walls now. So place down some blocks around the outside of the platform. And this wall is going to be six blocks tall from the inside. So that would be the second layer, third layer, fourth layer fifth layer, and then finally the sixth layer of the walls. So we want to add these layers all the way around the farm to create a giant enclosure for the raid to spawn in. After building your walls, grab your signs and place down four signs over top of the opening. That way no water flows into the hopper area. We're then going to build on the third layer of the farm, one, two, three signs like so, and then one, two, three signs. Over here, we're going to place down one, two signs, and then a sign right here, a sign right here, and then a sign on this sign, and a sign right here. Go ahead and break that sign. Now, that is definitely one of the harder parts to follow, so make sure that all of the signs are in the correct place, and once you know that they are, add a lava bucket in the corner, and it should flow out into a three-wide triangle like so. We're then going to come over in the corner and place down one, two, three, four, five blocks, and then four blocks, three blocks, two blocks, and then one block. Go ahead and place down a water bucket in the corner there, and it should all flow over into the hopper area. And that is perfect. This is going to be the way that we get all of the pillagers into the hopper area, and the lava is here to kill all of the ravengers. Grab your leaves now and place down leaves all the way around the top of the farm. That way we don't have anything spawning up here, and this is gonna stop pretty much everything from spawning. All right, the last thing we need to do for the farm is get a villager in here. So come to the front side of the farm under the underhang here, and we're going to count down by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. On the seventh layer, we're going to place down two blocks like this, grab a bed and place down that bed. And this is going to be where the villager is. We're then going to go ahead and grab our blocks and place down some blocks all the way around the farm, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and build up by two just like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to come underneath of the bed break these two blocks and replace them with leaves we're going to come up here now and place down two more blocks just like this and then we're going to go ahead and cover this thing in leaves now what the leaves are doing is preventing anything from spawning so make sure that any exposed blocks in the area like this would spawn things so make sure that any exposed blocks have leaves over top 
That's why the AFK platform here is built with leaves. Now all you need to do is get a villager in here and the easiest way to do that in my opinion is putting them in a boat and then floating them up with a bubble elevator. But since I'm in creative mode I'm just going to throw down a torch that we don't have any zombies in here and then go ahead and spawn in a villager. Go ahead and lock him in and this is his new permanent home. I'm sure he loves his two wide hole. And then this is the entire farm done. So with our villager in, we're ready to go get the bad omen effect and have the raid spawn and everything drop in here. All right, so in order to get the bad omen effect, come over to the pillager post that you built the farm near. Go ahead and find one of these guys with the banner on their head. After killing them, you will get the bad omen effect. Then go ahead and make your way over to the raid farm where we are going to just sit there, the raid will spawn because of that villager, and then we can go ahead and finish everything off by just chilling here, killing all of the pillagers, vindicators, evokers, and whatnot uh, with a looting three sword. That is pretty important because that is going to drastically affect the rates. So after the raid spawns in here, I'll actually fly up and show you what happens. So the raid is spawned inside of this little room. They're all flowing down inside of the chamber. And if we come down here, we can go ahead and kill them. Hopefully before they die of the fire damage. And then all of the drops end up in these two chests. So you will quickly run out of room. So you either A, have to keep clearing out those chests. Or B, just make a bigger storage system, which is pretty easy to do. But after we see this raid spawn, I'll go back down and we can show you how easy it is to actually kill them. So they're falling in, come down here, and there we go. Just literally one tap because of the fall damage. And the fire will usually not kill them, so that doesn't hurt the raids that much. And we go in here again, just barely touching the raid, and we already have 13, 6 emeralds. This farm is super awesome. It's super easy to build and it doesn't have any issues. I've had issues with other raid farms where the leaves would break or the villager would die due to a ravenger, but that is not a problem here. And again, all of the ravengers will die inside of this lava. And this thing is super great for XP as well. Also, the reason why there's a ravenger there, that is not because he actually fell down the chamber, it's because he spawned on those hoppers, which is not an issue at all. The issue of ravengers is when they fall down the chamber, it causes issues. So that was completely fine. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. There will be a world download on my Discord, so you can go ahead and download that if you had any difficulties following along. It's really hard to talk. I just ate some sour candies, so my mouth will not stop salivating. So I'm going to end this really quick. But uh, yeah, my name is 1UpMC, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, and if you made it to the end of the video, then go ahead and check out my second channel. I make a bunch of content there, or I will make a bunch of content there in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, so go and check that out. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, for real this time, see you guys in the next one.